Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example, we have a rational inequality and we need to find a solution and express that solution in interval notation. So whenever you have a rational inequality, you're going to take the numerator, in this case x minus 1, make it equals to 0, find x, in this case x equals 1. The same over x minus 2, the denominator, make it equals to 0, in this case you get x equals 2. And now I'm going to use a, a sign table. I'm going to call this function f of x. And on this table, I'm going to put these two values we found. We have 1 and 2. When x is 1, the denominator, the numerator is 0, so that means the whole fraction is 0. When x is 2, that would be a problem because the denominator is 0, which means the function is undefined. So that's the way we show undefined. And do notice now we have three intervals. How do we find the sign? We're going to use some value. We're going to start with x equals 0. When x is 0, x minus 1 becomes negative, and x minus 2 becomes a negative number. So uh, 2 negative, if you divide, you get a positive. So that's the reason I'm going to put here plus, because 0 is at the left of 1. Now, if I go to a number between 1 and 2, what's going on? x minus 1 becomes like 1.5. Becomes positive, right? And x minus 2, negative. What's happening when you divide a positive and a negative? You get a negative number. That's the reason I'm going to put minus. And we have one more interval, x uh, for number greater than 2. So I'm going to pick x equals 3. And that gives me two, uh, a positive number for the numerator, right? And a positive number for the denominator. When you divide two positive numbers, you get a positive number. Now let's look back to the original inequality. It says less or equals zero. And we notice the interval should be right here. And now be careful because it has the equal sign. I'm going to put a bracket close interval for 1, because I see that 0, and then 2, add to be careful, put a parenthesis, the function is undefined at 2. The interval uh, on which this rational function is less or equal to 0 is 1 to 2, close at 1, open at 2. Uh, let's take a look on the graph a little bit, and you notice the graph is going down here, it's less than 0. Right, is under the x-axis to be more precise. Uh, when x is less than 1, and uh, that's it. When x is greater than 1, my fault. Uh, if you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.